I'll show you how you can make three quick and easy watercolour Christmas cards using black watercolour paper. The first thing I'm going to do is tape down my watercolour paper and I've got an A4 size here and I'm creating a little background so I'm just going to paint some water onto this, smoothing it out, making sure there's no puddles and then I'm going to start dropping in some blues, some purples and magenta and a little bit of pink as well and then I'll also splatter some paint in, I'm just splattering in some magenta and then taking my gold and sprinkling that in as well. Now I've got a white pen and on the black paper I'm going to draw a glove and all I'm doing is just doing a simple glove shape with some pattern at the bottom. If you're wondering what pencil I'm using, this is a Caran Dash Luminance pencil and I love these pencils so much, they come out so brightly on all sorts of papers and they're great for using over the top of watercolours as well. I'm going to start painting the glove in my metallic paint and this is in the fine tech range these are called Calyro colors and they're the pearlescent colors and this one is a purple all I'm doing is painting the purple all over next I'm going to take some hot press watercolor paper but you could use ready-made watercolor cards or cardstock it is completely up to you and I've got this paper scorer so I've just had this for years I'll see if I can link it down below for you it's great for scoring cardstock so that you can make cards out of these. It makes it so much easier to fold. And here I have a very simple but very sturdy card. Now I'm going to put the background on this card. So I'm going to use it as a um, landscape orientation. And then I'm going to cut my gloves out. So I've got two gloves. And now I'm going to stick these to the watercolour background that we created. I'm going to do this as a landscape orientation. So I'm going to just, just going to turn the background and then stick them down. And then you can use a fine liner pen, but I'm going to use a purple Posca pen because this came out better on the background. And all I'm going to do is add these swirly lines. And this is going to be like the string between the mittens. I love these Posca pens. They come out so brightly on all sorts of mediums. And I'm also going to use a gold metallic uh, Posca pen. And I just personalized this card for my nan. So let's make the gingerbread card now. I'm going to round this edge off here. So just red, rounding off the edge where his hand meets his head. And then rounding it off. Making him lovely and rounded. We're also going to round this part here as well. Kind of like a little mountain. And then we're just going to take this up. I'm going to round that off. Drawing his little arms. I'm going to start off with some yellow ochre all over the gingerbread man. And then taking a smaller brush and, and painting wet into wet, I'm going to start dropping in a little bit of burnt umber. So it's just a darker brown. You can use any darker brown, maybe a burnt sienna or Van Dyke brown, sepia, that type of thing. So just painting it wet into wet to allow those colours to blend together. And I'm basically just painting it around the outside edges, but I'm not being too careful with this. I'm allowing some of that colour to come right into the middle as well. If you're wondering what brush I'm using, this is my Silver Black Velvet size 6 brush. And it's one of my most used brushes. I just love it because it's um, I can get good control with it. It holds a lovely amount of water and it's also got a really nice point. Then I've got my smaller brush again and this is a size 2. And I've got some very concentrated burnt ember. I'm just going to paint that around the outer edge and this is just going to make the gingerbread man really stand out and it's going to make it look a bit more 3D as well. Got that dark colour around the edge. Don't worry if this dark colour bleeds a little bit into the gingerbread man, it really doesn't matter. And you want to use hardly any water in this paint so it doesn't spread too far. So all I'm doing is simply just outlining the gingerbread man with this darker colour. This is also a silver black velvet brush. This is a, called a Voyager brush, I think. Yeah, Voyage Round. And it's um, a little travel brush, so it's got a smaller handle. But I don't use it as a travel brush. I use it as an everyday brush because I love it. We're going to allow this to dry now and then we'll go on top with some details. I'm going to use a range of Posca pens now. These are great mediums to use over watercolours and they're paint pens. 
I'm going to take my waterproof pen and this is a black fine liner by uni everything will be linked down below for you that I'm mentioning by the way and I'm going to add three little buttons in three different colors using the Posca pens and then taking my white thinner Posca pen I'm going to add these little swirls and this is going to be the icing on the gingerbread man then I decided to go around the outside of the gingerbread man again to create some icing around the outside of the biscuit because I've seen quite a few, fo a few photos of biscuits like this and I just love the look of the icing around the outside and I think it finished him off really well. Next I'm going to cut this out and I don't know if you've noticed but I added a tiny shadow. Uh, I, I don't know if I like it or not so you don't have to add a shadow but I thought I would try a shadow and I forgot to film it so um, excuse that. But here's my little cut out gingerbread man and I'm going to take my black watercolour paper and stick it in the middle of my card so I've left a little border around that. And then I'm going to centre my gingerbread man, leaving a little bit of space so I can write something underneath. I've just got my white Posca pen again and I'm going to write Happy Christmas. You could use this as an opportunity to personalise the card by putting someone's name on. Maybe a family name would be really nice. You could write Happy Holidays. Um, it is completely up to you what you write here or you don't have to write anything at all but I think this finished the card off nicely by writing and then I'm going to add some little swirls, tiny dots and also these little swirls around the outside of the watercolour paper. If you don't have black watercolour paper by the way you could just use normal black cardstock for this card because of course you're not painting on top of it but you are going to use the Posca pens or a white gel pen or whatever you've got on top. And here's that finished card. I really like that card actually. Now I'm going to paint a bauble and I've just got my Calirio colours. These are by Fine Tech and they're pearlescent colours. I think this colour that I'm using here is fairy. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but I'm just painting a circle and then I'm going to take my Moon Glow which is a lovely silver colour and it's my favourite. And I was just adding some highlights and then I've got my gold this is the Gansai Tambi Starry Nights Colours uh, metallic paints and I'll link these down below for you because I love them and I'm just gonna add another bauble to one of my black watercolour pieces of paper these pieces of paper are tiny and I just use a little sample pack um, I'm not really sure of the size but they are really small anyway and I'm just going to add some of the metallic purple on the outside of the bauble and then I've got my moon glow and I'm going to let those colours touch together so they blend into one another and then I've got a damp brush and I'm just going to blend those colours out so it becomes a bit lighter in the middle then I decided to take my gold and fill that in because I didn't like the look of the black watercolour paper showing through. I'm going to draw a simple star shape next. I must admit I'm not the best <laughs> at drawing stars so this was a bit shocking to be honest but um, I'm just using my white luminance pencil by Karen Dash because it, it comes up really well on black paper. And then I'm going to take my moon glow and while that's still wet I'm also going to take another colour. I think this was a white metallic paint that I was using and I added three different colours here. One was a purple as well. I think that was the fairy that I was using. Now I'm going to cut these out. So I'm going to cut the bauble out and I'm what I'm doing is I'm actually turning the paper rather than turning the scissors. I do find it so much easier to actually just turn the paper or the shape that I'm trying to cut out instead of trying to fiddle around with moving the scissors. And now I'm going to place them in a nice way on my background card that I made earlier. Um, but then I decided to take the background off because the shapes weren't really showing up that well. So this is just my white watercolour paper on its own now. And then I just added three little strings with my metallic Posca pen. This is gold. And I'm also going to write Merry Christmas underneath. Sorry, I'm writing Merry and Bright. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> my brain's definitely not what it used to be now in 41. <laughs> Check out my other tutorials. My name is Lindsay Dawn Art. Have a lovely Christmas and I'll see you soon. Bye.